Continuing our lesson in AI ML, these mathematical tools are needed and we provide a simplified explanation below. Remember to understand a complex topic, you need to break it down into their component parts. What is linear algebra? Linear algebra is like a fancy way of doing math with tables of numbers. These tables are called matrices and vectors. Key concepts 1. Vectors. Think of a vector as a list of numbers. For example, 2, 3 and is a vector with two numbers. Vectors can represent things like points in space or directions. 2. Matrices. A matrix is like a grid or table of numbers. For example, from this picture, we see two vectors. Matrices can be used to transform vectors, like rotating or scaling them. Why is it useful? Linear algebra helps us solve problems involving multiple variables. It's used in everything from computer graphics to machine learning. Basic operations 1. Addition. You can add vectors or matrices by adding their corresponding numbers. For example, from this picture, we see how the addition operation works. 2. Multiplication. Multiplying a matrix by a vector can change the vector's direction and length. For example, from this picture, we see how the multiplication operation works. Calculus is a branch of mathematics that helps us understand how things change. Imagine you're watching a car drive down the road. Calculus helps you figure out how fast the car is going at any given moment and how far it has traveled over time. Here are the two main ideas in calculus. 1. Derivatives. This is about finding the rate of change. For example, if you want to know how fast the car is going right now, you use derivatives. It's like checking the speedometer of the car. 2. Integrals. This is about adding up small pieces to find the total. If you want to know how far the car has traveled in a certain amount of time, you use integrals. It's like adding up all the little distances the car has traveled to get the total distance. Think of derivatives as zooming in on a tiny part of a journey to see the speed, and integrals as adding up all those tiny parts to see the whole journey.